people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to my 2024 updated room tour video. I have not done a room tour or FNAF merchandise collection video since 2022 and my room has definitely changed a lot. I've gotten a lot more FNAF merchandise. So today I'm finally going to be showing you guys around the room, showing you everything, every single FNAF merchandise I've accumulated over these years. Also, if the audio sounds a bit different or the video looks a bit different, it's because I'm on my phone now so you can see everything. So let's go in now and let's start this room tour. Hello, Freddy. So walking in the door, this is the usual backdrop that you'll see, though I have added a little stand for some bonus things I want to talk about. So let's start over here, why don't we? Right off the bat, we have the official FNAF movie poster. Right above it, we have the 2020, I believe, was the year Sanchi re-released their original FNAF 1 plushies of Freddy, Bonnie, Golden Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. I am still unfortunately missing Possessed Fredbear because they did not re-release him, but moving on down, we got the very first shelf of many shelves in this room. We got the FNAF 2 Hex plushies, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Chica, and Balloon Boy inside of some uh, display boxes for the FNAF AR plushies, and I believe that's the Blacklight plushies. In front of them, we have some FNAF AR skin plushies from Funko. Right in front of them, we have the Funko FNAF 1 action figures, as well as some Balloon Circus Mystery Minis. Right below them, we've got the FNAF 6 plushies. There's a lot of FNAF 6 plushies, so this is, of course, not all of them. But as you can see, we've got some variants of the Security Breach Mystery Minis, including the two sparkly Glamrock Freddy and Monty figures. Some more Funko figures, this time some of the FNAF AR skins, as well as Chocolate slash Candy Freddy and Chocolate Chica. Right below them, some more Funko plushies, this time of the brand new festive slash holiday plushies of Santa Freddy, Elf Bonnie, I think that's Nutcracker Foxy, Snow Chica, and Gingerbread Foxy. Some FNAF 6 minis, as well as some more the rest of the FNAF AR Funko action figures, as well as Blora, because I didn't have anywhere else for her, and it seemed like she fit pretty well with Arctic Blora on this side. Right below that, on the very bottom of the shelf, we've got some sealed FNAF Funko figures, and I've just noticed... You're not supposed to be down here. Must have fell at some point. But anyways, you're going to notice a trend. I usually like to have some sealed Funko figures at the bottom of each shelf. Moving on here, this again is not usually in the background, but it's some interesting merchandise that I still want to talk about. The FNAF era poster, as well as this, I don't know, who made this again? Just Toys 2016. Yeah, I saw this online. I just thought it was so weird. I had to buy it. These guys just got re-released, so I'm gonna do a short opening up some of them. These are also brand new. They're hard candy, like little pizza slices. That's also gonna be a short soon. This is kind of just my short shelf because I also got the uh, the security breach fig pins. An entire box of them, actually. So yeah, at some point, I'm also gonna do a short going over these guys. These are some retail FNAF AR posters. I'm working on finishing up the set. There's two other boxes that I'm missing, so I'm staying on the lookout for those guys before I talk about them. These are the FNAF um, 1 and 2 u posters. Still sealed, by the way. I'm still unsure if I want to open them and frame them. And this is finally the cloak. Hold on. This is the cloak poster. I have a frame for it. I just haven't framed it just yet. Moving on to the shelf, we have the FNAF 1 hex plushies right above that. The Another FNAF era poster, actually. That wasn't the group poster. I just realized that is a Thanksgiving poster. This is the group poster. Above that, a DVD of the FNAF movie. Some more FNAF AR Funko plushies. These are the Balloon Circus Funko figures in front of them. Some FNAF 1 and, yeah, I guess just FNAF 1 mystery minis. Right down here, we got the FNAF 1 plushies, including Springtrap, some more mystery minis. The Arcade Mayhem action figure is still waiting on just the regular Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Chica. But speaking of Toy Freddy and Toy Chica, we got those plushies down here, including some other FNAF 2 plushies, some FNAF AR mystery minis, and some more FNAF AR skin action figures. And right down here, we have all of the sealed Curse of Dreadbear Funko figures. Moving on to this wall, you may notice I got some posters, the Toxic Springtrap FNAF AR uh, poster by Illumix, as well as the Security Breach art poster. Right above here, we got the little guy, little Fredbear Hex plushie on a keychain. He's adorable. We got this guy. He's not really on any shelf because I literally found him yesterday, but this is the brand new FNAF movie cupcake plushie. As you can see, it is FNAF movie themed. And if you want it, it is also exclusive to GameStop. I'll probably talk about this guy a bit more soon. On the chair, one of the Freddy blankets. And right above this, we got a tiny shelf with some McFarlane sets, including these guys, like the Security Breach blind bags. I can't remember who made them. It might've been just toys. I don't know. But we got Balloon Boy McFarlane. Roxanne, we got a Grim Foxy McFarlane set, a guitar uh, that's used to bash open one of the, one of the freaking things. You, we'll get to you later, but it was used to open you. Molten Freddy McFarlane set, 
Nightmare Chica McFarlane set, little moon figure, and lastly, this guy right here, gold Glamrock Freddy. Turning the corner into this little indent here, I've still got up my Security Breach voice actor uh, autograph prints. So Monty for Cameron, we got Glamrock Chica and Vanessa for Heather, Gregory, Vanny, and Roxanne for Marta, and right down here we got little Andy Field. <laughs> right above them, I have the Hex FNAF 1, moving on now to the FNAF 2 trading cards. And then on the other side of the wall, we have this just uh, absolutely amazing FNAF group poster. We got some danglies, security breach danglies on each corner. And then moving on to the shelf, let's go bottom to top, you know, to spice things up. We've got some sealed tie-dye, as well as security breach figures, security breach plushies and figures, the FNAF AR plushies and Curse of Dreadbear figures. In front of them, these are the pint-sized heroes from the advent calendar, not last year, but the year before. Tie-dye plushies and figures. Over here, the inverted FNAF AR uh, plushies, as well as tie-dye spring trap. Up here, we've got the spring colorway and black light Funko plushies. Once again, in some more display boxes, I didn't talk about them, but they're also right over there. Some more of the FNAF 6 plushies, Lefty, Security Puppet, L Chip, and, well, you're not really FNAF 6 themed, but I thought you fit pretty well here. Some Christmas tags, some Dave and Buster's cards for the FNAF movie. I don't know how widespread these are. I don't know how many people actually have these, but as you can see, I've got Foxy, I've got Bonnie character cards, and then the two power cards for the poster and Freddy. So all I'm missing are the character cards for the Cupcake, Chica, and Freddy, and then I've got all the Dave and Buster's cards for the FNAF movie, which is still really crazy that they did that. Moving on now to this shelf, let's start off with this wall shelf right up here. Some more of these little figures and cards. McFarlane sets a Funtime Freddy, Parts and Service uh, Freddy from Help Wanted, another guitar, Plush Trap, as well as Toy Chica over here. And right above that, some more FNAF AR posters of the Arcade Mayhem guys, as well as the Sizzling Summer, I think their group was called. And then Spring Bonnie chilling out over there. We've got Spring Bonnie on that side, and then Fred Bear over there. Moving on now to the shelf itself. <laughs> the shelf itself, that's a weird phrasing. Anyways, <laughs> we got the first release of the Funko uh, Snap Figures. So over here, we got the Toy Animatronics, as well as the, I think he was Walmart exclusive, Phantom Foxy. The show stage or the dining room with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and then parts and service slash the backstage with Springtrap, Golden Freddy, and Baby. And then right in front of them, some glow-in-the-dark FNAF 6 mystery minis. Moving on now to this top shelf, got some more Funko Snaps. Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Freddy's Green Room with Freddy and Chica. The Hallway with Freddy again, Vanessa, Vanny, and then Monty's Green Room with the two variants of Monty. And then some more FNAF 6, uh, normal FNAF 6 mystery minis. You may notice I'm missing the new snaps. I know they are released on Funko's website, but it's got Roxanne, the staff bot, and Helpy, so eventually I do need to add them to this, you know, Funko Snap collection. But down here, we got the Curse of Dreadbear plushies, as well as some Balloon Circus mystery minis. Behind them, you may notice these tiny little Funko figurines. Now I'm gonna be honest, the reason why they're kind of shoved back here where you can kind of see them, but not really, is because I think they might be bootleg. I don't know. They look kind of iffy, but I don't know, man. I, I still think they look pretty cool. Uh, like, look at Balloon Boy there. Look at how terrified he looks. So this might be bootleg, so that's why they're kind of pushed back into the background. But just below that, we got some of these Sister Location plushies. A little bit back there. Funtime Foxy back there. Lefty Funko figure. Pig Patch Lefty figure. Wow, that made no sense. Pig Patch Funko figure. And then right down here, we got the sealed uh, festive figures, which I don't have any of them unboxed. So this is where I just keep all the holiday figures. Over here, we've got the FNAF AR, like entire collection of the traditional wave all sealed up. And once again, Pig Patch Lefty. And then over here, some more McFarlane sets. Foxy, that one's a pain in the butt to clean. Uh, honestly, most of the McFarlane sets are a pain in the butt to dust off. So if some of them look a bit dusty, I do apologize. We got Lefty, we got Mangle from Vent Repair Help Wanted. Nightmare Foxy, I love that set. And then the game area with Mangle and Balloon Boy. This was probably the first McFarlane set I got. So that also, that's also another set I love. Over here, some more Funko FNAF era skins. And this shelf over here is now the bookshelf. I used to have them all displayed up on the other shelves, but quite frankly, at this point, there's way too many goddamn books. So we've got all the Fazbear Frights all into the pit. Also some of the graphic novels and the box set featuring Felix the Shark. And right in front of them, the prize area with the puppet the FNAF 6 uh, show stage, and then the primary control module with Armless Ballora. And then on the shelf above that, we've got some of the other books, like the Freddy Files books, you know, the security log book, the original novel trilogy, the FNAF movie official novel. In front of them, we've got the parts and service FNAF 2 McFarlane set, and also over here, we got some of the other books that are just way too massive to fit there, so I had to lay them down. But we've got the private room, also with an armless character, this time Yendo, and you may notice right here, 
These guys are a staple of my room tour videos. They're actually littlest pet shop figurines that my friend painted to look like the FNAF characters. And I just love them. They're so adorable. So I have to keep them here. And on top of the shelf, we have the Balloon Circus plushies as well as Blacklight Freddy. Right here, some Creator Ink Faz coins, the FNAF AR Bonnie card, a pin, FNAF AR Freddy. These are the Sanchi tokens. Oh, is it still dusty? God damn it. I spent like several days dusting this whole office. I don't know how it's still dusty, but another pin, the Foxy FNAF AR card. And then right above this is my whiteboard, which you can still kind of see. Help wanted to guide. Oh, what, what was that? I can't, I can't make out what that says, but yeah, this, this whiteboard freaking sucks, man. Well, there's 2024 update. But yeah, I might eventually just turn this into a giant board to put all my pins on because as you can see, that's what I've done, basically. I'm not going to list off all the pins. There are just way, way too many pins by a whole bunch of different companies, but this is the collection so far. And I do have more pins, but like I said, at some point, I just got to get rid of this whole whiteboard segment and have just a whole bunch of pins on this. And I accidentally hit one. Monty, I apologize. So magnets as well. Uh, that is obviously not FNAF related, but one of my, I think it was my grandma went to Kenya and she's like, here, have this. And I was like, that's pretty cool. It doesn't fit at all with FNAF, but hey, it's pretty cool. And then the rest of the Hex trading cards, Fred Bear, Pop Goes, uh, Spring Bonnie, Golden Spring Bonnie, Candy, and regular Spring Bonnie. Over here, hello, we've got the Plus Trap FNAF AR poster. We've got Freddy over here, moving on now to the setup. This is where things get technical and also probably a bit confusing because I don't know anything about technical stuff, but I know for a fact, if you wanna know my setup, I know for a fact though, this is the Shure SM7B. It is an amazing microphone. It's exactly why like every YouTuber you see has this microphone. It's super good, super reliable. Very good when you're talking up close to it. Not so good when you're yelling, you know, reacting to a brand new FNAF trailer or something like that, you know, something crazy, like the mimic in Ruin. So that's why it peaks kind of in my reaction and gameplay videos because you're not really supposed to yell into it. My keyboard, it's all glowy. My mouse, it's all glowy. I do have a stream deck. I don't really use it a whole lot, mainly just to change my scenes on OBS. My monitors, I don't know. Ah, an Aver Media camera. There we go. There you go. If you want to know my camera, that's it. These are just some Logitech, like Bluetooth headphones. All I really know about my PC is that it's Alienware. And when I got it, all my friends were like, dude, what are you doing getting an Alienware PC? And I'm like, dude, it's a freaking PC. It gets the job done. And quite frankly, it's been getting the job done since like 2019, 2018. So it's, it's been working well. And then these are also my two bright ass lights that illuminate my face. I have no clue what company made them but hey they're big they're bright they've been walking good moving on now to this shelf as you can see up at the very top got some jumbo plushies the reversible plushies of freddy and bonnie the funko popsies as well as the walmart exclusive chocolate bonnie popsy some huggy wuggy plushies that are just hanging from my curtains this shelf is kind of mainly non-fnaf themed if i'm being honest so quickly going through we've got some u2's bendy plushies spring trap mug some fnaf stickers back there a fnaf pen some u2's pins of fnaf 1 and six Security breach. Then we got some TDLC, Bendy, Poppy playtime figures up at the front row. Down below that, we've just got some YouTuber U2s to fill some space, if I'm being honest. Of course, we've got the legendary FNAF slimes. And then some more U2s pins, Pop Goes, Bendy. Right below that, some Pops, the U2s gummies back there. I got this guy because I thought it was funny. Limited edition Golden Spring Bonnie Hex plushie. The Security Breach laminated pins by Creator Inc, I believe. Security Breach notebook. And then some more poppy figures, this time the actual action figures, as well as some craftables. Right here, right here. Below that, the catnap plushie. This guy used to be in the background right over on that shelf, and I got a lot of comments that were like, oh, you got the catnap plushie? I did, he's awesome, I love him. The sodas, Freddy's juice, Roxanne's juice. The FYE candy bars, some more figures of Poppy Playtime, as you can see. Some Doki Doki Literature Club acrylics right here. FNAF 1 display box with some FNAF cups, as well as a most likely bootleg mango plushie, if I'm being honest. And then at the very bottom, some Bendy figures, as well as some like hex, uh, I'm gonna be honest, some hex ripoffs for Poppy Playtime. Some figures as well, and also my Huggy Wuggy gun which I will shoot people with if they try to invade my house and steal all my merchandise. Moving on now to the giant Funko Pop wall. I mean, I'm not gonna go buy them one by one, but you can see I've got a lot of Funko Pops. Definitely not all of them, though it is kind of my main goal to get every single FNAF Funko Pop. I'm really proud of the collection so far, if I'm being honest. On top of them, you can't really see it, but we've got some of the Creator Ink lights, as well as a Monty pin, the Security Breach one with a Chica pin, and you also probably saw it in the wide shot, there is the Celebrate FNAF 1 poster, some U2 shoulder riders, we got a Cloak FNAF pin, 
a catnap pin that came with the catnap plushie, security breach pins that I believe came with the collector's edition of the game, and then right over here, a patch from, I believe, just Hot Topic. Right at the bottom, we got some Hero World, as well as these little funky guys back there. I think McFarlane made those guys. We got the Balloon Boy exclusive one. I can't remember where he was exclusive to, but I do know he was pretty rare. Freddy, as well as let's finish off these hero worlds. And now we've got all of this to go through and then we're finally done. Let's kick it off with this shelf. Up at the top, we got some more jumbo plushies. Sun, moon, the half jumbo size like eclipse plushie from hot topic security breach minis in front of the security breach something wild funko game the 6am games back there the more pop figures in front of the standing uh fnaf one you choose plushies god there's so many goddamn companies to keep track of quite frankly i'm not a big fan of the standing plushies so i might get rid of these guys eventually and, and buy the sitting plushies because i think those look a lot better and cuter than the standing ones but for now this is what i've got we've got some more ddlc figures the night watch like energy drink <laughs> from hot topic I, that, that's weird the official fnaf gummy pizza blacklight cereal which is unopened actually i already showed these guys but the u2 standing security breach plushies some more fnaf uh six funko pops foxy is missing his ears unfortunately something wild some more security breach mystery minis and back here we've got the tie-dye t-shirt bundle uh by funko moving on to this shelf let's start off on this side we have the night of frights game atop of that the something wild rockstar freddy guy youtube's helpy plushie youtube's entered the youtube sun nightlight jumbo squishmies of freddy and vanny some more youtube's plushies mangle gaming toy freddy back there some nightmare pop figures some stickers the fnaf movie pizza box that blumhouse sent me so that's a prized possession dude and right above that we've got a healthy mystery mini because he's so cute moving on down we've got a baldy plushie sister location pops Vanny headband from U2, some Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie hand puppets, the original FNAF pizza kit with still everything inside, though it's not sealed because my brother made made me open it and show him everything. And then some Blacklight Funko figures, which again, might be bootleg. I don't know. I got them from the same place. I got like those figures in the back that I said might be bootleg. So they, these Funko... Yeah, these guys might be bootleg too, unfortunately. Moving on now, the final shelf. Let's start at the bottom. We got some Bendy plushies, a Choo Choo Charles plushie, gigantic FNAF Freddy Squish Me, some Bendy Pops, the U2's mugs, sealed balloon Foxy figure. Up at the top, we got the giant Funko action figures, some Twisted Pops, a weird good stuff Chica, which is official, some Hero World of Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Foxy, some Fight Line, which I believe in there is Chocolate Chica. I've only ever found one of those guys. I've like, I've gone to GameStop, they've had the traditional fight line boxes but they never have more of the mystery packs on the shelf though we've got some fnaf clue in the back we got a good stuff funtime freddy plush i believe medium-sized tie-dye plushies nightmare freddy nightmare foxy some of the fanverse plushies as well from funko some twisted guys down here up above that we've got the franco freddy plushie the funko nightmare freddy and nightmare bonnie like standing chibi plushies tiny dread bear freddy foxy funko pop as well as boop the official freddy pillow pet which i stand the lookout because you know that foxy pillow pet yeah, it's coming up pretty soon. And someone might be getting him early. This top part of the shelf I love because it's got the official Funko statues. We got some tiny pops right there. Bon Bon, Fred Bear, as well as the cupcake, a sun security breach plushie back there, the nightmare puffs box, the advent calendar. Then we've got the puppet and lefty statue. Looks absolutely fantastic. The Vanny and Vanessa statue also looks absolutely fantastic. The Glamrock Freddy and Gregory Vanny statue. We got some mystery minis down here some more mystery minis over here the jump scare game back there i don't remember what that's called i think it's called like the jacko box something the fright o box dot box of frights beware the scare but we've got some head plushies of freddy and chica the steer wheel pride plushie some of the squishmies phantom balloon boy because he went literally nowhere else he couldn't fit anywhere else no one likes you but monopoly's back there and then on top of that we've got the steel book for security breach last part of the shelf we've got the foxy funko statue balloon boy because i thought he fit pretty well with foxy here then a u2's plush in the back we got the brand new advent calendar which i've not opened just yet i'll probably do video on that sometime soon maybe on the second channel but also we've got the final pop figures i have unboxed right here well, lastly for this shelf we've got some more jumbo plushies up the top vanny rockstar freddy lefty spring colorway vanny we've got some pocket pops of fnaf ar tie-dye balloon circus as well as orville and also the reversible head plushies of freddy bonnie chica foxy moving on now this is the u2's wall much like the fun 
Funko Pop wall, I've started a YouTube's wall. Starting at the bottom, we've got FNAF, which I am still missing. By the way, YouTube's, if you're watching this, my Matt Bot figure. I ordered him. He's still not come in yet. At this point, I don't think he will. But also, while we're here talking about U2s, that Burn Trap figure is actually the Burn Trap prototype figure. Still absolutely super, super grateful that U2 sent that over because something like that, I mean, that's amazing to have in the collection. Some Bendy figures, Poppy Playtime, as well as Dark Deception, which I might get rid of those because if I'm being honest, I'm... I don't really keep up with Dark Deception. But Baldi, and then the Doki Doki Literature Club figures, and finally, we've got some more U2's plushies. Baby, Golden Freddy, the Collector's Edition of Sun and Moon, the Puppet Glitch Trap. Above that, the Hex plushies of Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, the Hex plushies of Candy and Pop Goes. And lastly, right here, let's end it off, we have the Vanessa Keychain in front of a Taylor Swift calendar. And that is my entire room, everything I have in my FNAF merchandise collection collection. It's a lot of stuff. Let, let's be real here. This is not normal. This is not okay. This is a lot of stuff. I've started to relax a bit in feeling the need to grab every single piece of official FNAF merchandise that releases. So that's why I'm missing some of the newer stuff, like some of the YouTube stuff, like the Haunted Wave and the Flock figures. I'm still missing some of the new Funko stuff. I mean, I've, I'm missing the entire new wave of Hex plushies, the Withers, which Daco did say he was going to send me, but that was when he was moving. So Daco, I'll give you a break on that front. The puppet plushie from Hex, I'm also missing. I mean, there's admittedly a lot of stuff I'm still missing despite having this entire room dedicated to FNAF merchandise. Because quite frankly, there was just so much stuff releasing, especially recently because FNAF has exploded in popularity. So this is not the biggest FNAF merchandise collection. In fact, in the future, I might even decrease it in size, sell some stuff because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of FNAF merchandise sells for a lot of money. But I'm still incredibly happy to have everything I have right now. And it's all thanks to you guys. Watching these videos, funding my obsession of collecting FNAF merchandise, I really have you guys to thank for everything in this room. But that is going to do it for this year's room tour and FNAF merchandise collection video. I'm very curious to see what the collection is going to look like in a year from now. And I'd love to know in the comments what is your favorite piece of FNAF merchandise that you have. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.